food system is broken. It is estimated over 2 billion people are moderately to severely food insecure globally. It is predicted the global population will increase by 2 billion to 9.7 billion by 2050. Agriculture will need to grow by 70% to support the population in 2050. However, we are significantly depleting our global resources and chances of being able to produce enough food. Many organizations are actively coming up with solutions for what the future farm should look like. We at Fork Farms have embraced one such solution, the vertical farm. By partnering with educational organizations such as Fox Valley Technical College, the next generation has the opportunity to think differently about what agriculture looks like in the future. Growing hydroponically is nothing new for humanity. In fact, Early applications can be traced back to the hanging gardens of Babylon, ancient Egypt, and the Aztecs of Central America. However, vertical farming as we know it today wasn't widely known until Dr. Dixon Despomier in 1999 founded the root for this idea of raising crops in tall buildings, vertical farming. The global hydroponics market will be worth $12 billion, $100 million by 2025 rising from $6,900,000,000 in 2016. The vertical farming industry is projected to generate $12.77 billion globally by 2026, with a compound annual growth rate, CAGR, of 24.6%. Fox Valley Technical College recognizes this growing industry and is teaching students who enjoy growing things and working with their hands in this emerging market. Part of the FVTC program is incorporating hydroponics and indoor farming into the horticulture program. So what is vertical farming? How can we use it? And how is it the solution to our future farming needs? Vertical farming is a type of controlled environment agriculture. It uses artificial lighting, is typically indoors, and it uses vertical planting systems which uses a space's cubic footage instead of the square footage typically used in traditional farming methods. Vertical farming allows for significantly more production in a much smaller space. Many systems use hydroponics. This is the practice of growing food in a water-based mineral solution instead of soil. Using hydroponics is simple. It combines the right amount of nutrients with pH balanced water, along with the correct amount and type of light which results in consistent yields of highly nutritious leafy greens and produce, such as tomatoes, cucumbers, and strawberries. The design of any vertical farm must meet specific space requirements, budgetary considerations, and labor availability. All of these allow the environment to be specifically controlled to optimize growth, increase yield, and control quality. It also uses limited herbicides or pesticides. Educational institutions like Fox Valley Technical College are responding to the food crisis by continuously updating their hydroponics lab equipment along with the course curriculum to ensure this knowledge is transferred to the next generation. Vertical farming addresses four major challenges of traditional farming methods concerning water, energy, space, and quality of food. Let's walk through each challenge and see how vertical farming is helping to solve each one. Currently, 70% of the world's freshwater use is in agriculture. In the United States, agriculture is a major user of ground and surface water. It accounts for approximately 80% of the nation's consumptive water use, and over 90% in many Western states. Vertical hydroponic farming is a sustainable solution when it comes to water conservation and use. Overall, hydroponic farming uses 90% less water than traditional farming methods. For example, the Fork Farms Vertical Hydroponic Flex Farm System uses 97% less water than traditional agriculture. This is because water is continually circulated through the system and evaporation is minimized. Food systems account for almost one-third of global fossil fuel use. Food produced using conventional agricultural methods generally travels significant distances since farmers are located where the best natural conditions for food production are. 
On average, food travels 1,500 miles from seed to plate. Vertical hydroponic farms can be set up anywhere, independent of climate conditions. Fresh produce grown in vertical hydroponic farms travels at most only a few miles to reach grocery store shelves. If a hydroponic system is on site where you cook and eat food, the food miles equal zero. Advancements in LED lighting have also significantly decreased the energy consumption used by vertical hydroponic farms during operation. Without the inconsistency and harshness of outdoor weather, plants grown indoors grow faster and with less risk of crop failure. For example, food produced in the Fork Farm's vertical hydroponic system has zero food miles if eaten in the home, school, or other location where it's grown. The system is also 40% more energy efficient than other vertical hydroponic systems on the market. It's estimated that climate change could cause up to a 20% reduction in crop yields by 2050. In the U.S., leaf lettuce is highly susceptible to contamination, weather, and transportation disruptions. Over the last five years, unseasonably cold weather, drought, flooding, and foodborne illness outbreaks have caused numerous nationwide recalls of lettuce products. Vertical hydroponic farming is significantly less impacted by climate change than traditional farming. These systems are typically indoors in temperature controlled environments. These systems can minimize the disadvantages of soil culture, such as continuous cropping obstacles and reduce instances of plant disease and pests. For example, the Fork Farms Flex Farm system produces 45 times more produce in nine square feet than traditional farming. They are designed to protect against agriculture-based food safety concerns and do not use herbicides or pesticides. 60% of calories consumed in the United States come from ultra-processed foods. These foods have been directly attributed to increased mortality due to chronic diseases such as heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. It's predicted that one in three people in the U.S. will contract type 2 diabetes by 2050 if current trends continue. Not surprisingly, health practitioners, educators, and communities across the globe are using vertical farming as a public health solution. Indoor hydroponic farms are capable of growing significant quantities of fresh leafy greens in under 35 days. According to the USDA, dark green leafy vegetables are great sources of nutrition. Salad greens, kale, and spinach are rich in vitamins A, C, E, and K. Innovative LED lighting technologies are taking nutritional quality further by increasing plant production of anthocyanins which is a known antioxidant. Local hydroponic production also improves the traceability of crops and overall reduces its agricultural waste. For example, the Fork Farms Flex Farm system can produce over 20 pounds of fresh leafy greens every 28-day cycle. Annually, 3,400 plants can be harvested out of the Flex Farm. Fork Farms is leading the movement to close the gap between people and the nourishment they depend on. In this module, you were introduced to some of the food problems we face and how Fork Farms can help overcome those problems. Everyone should have access to healthy food. Fork Farms helps make this possible. Partners like Fox Valley Technical College work with students to create and maintain a consistent food supply, including incorporating Fork Farms Vertical Farm into the horticulture program. To learn more about the vertical farm, contact Fork Farms at info at forkfarms.com or at 1-877-886-7736. To learn more about the hydroponics program at Fox Valley Technical College, contact us at admissions at fvtc.edu or at 1-800-735 three eight eight two